Welcome back to Weekend AM. She's a stage star, an IFTA award-winning actor, and has featured in classic Irish comedies such as About Adam and The Girl, The Boys and Girl, excuse me, from County Clare. And Charlotte Bradley has travelled far and wide across the acting sphere. Now Charlotte is currently starring as Lily de Courcy in the hit comedy The Unimaginable Sisters in the Abbey Theatre until the 3rd of August. She joins us now. Good morning, Charlotte. Good morning. Good morning. You, Good morning. like I, went through the joys of a double show day yesterday. Yeah. I can see the joy written all over your face. I know. We just love that. Straight home to bed like, like a an Cinderella. <laughs> oh God. They're tough days for you, Charlotte, because you've got oh. two shows, as we know from Simon, mm -hmm. uh, doing the same thing at the moment. How do you keep the spirits up, the energy up, and do you relax <clears throat> the next day? Oh yeah. Well, you definitely relax mm. the next day, yeah. unless you have to come into Ireland. Yeah, but the yes, crack of dawn. Sorry, about that. that's just changed things <laughs> that slightly. Yeah. 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 No, no. Yeah. You do. You're completely chill the next day. Yeah. And it's, it's hard to go in in the morning, isn't it? Yes, That's the it hard is, yes. Bit. And it's, so na it's so natural. It is so natural. To go in at lunchtime. Yeah, at lunchtime. Yeah. And then the audience gives you such a boost. They do, yeah. And then I get about five o'clock thinking, oh, <laughs> I don't know, think I can do another can show. Do but at least I don't have to do a warm-up. You know, because yeah, I did that. that. Yes. Uh, but then the audience just brings you up again. It's this, amazing. This is something, Charlotte, that's fascinated me, and even from speaking to Simon over the years about um, acting. And one of the questions he gets asked an awful lot is, how do you remember all those lines? And Simon says, it's my job <laughs> to remember your the lines. Do. If it was the lines, if it was only the lines, oh, you'd be yeah. grand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's everything. We all learnt our poetry that's and our Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's easy, the easy bit. bit. Tell us yeah. about the play, The Unimaginable Sisters. It's in its second incarnation in the Abbey, but tell us about the play. The Unimaginable Manageables. Um, it's, uh, it's an adaptation by Deirdre Kinhan mm -hmm. of a Tremblay play, who's French-Canadian. He wrote it when he was 26. Wow. It was called Les Belles Sœurs, which is uh, the beautiful sisters or sisters-in-law in French. And um, it's quite outrageously funny. It really is hilarious. I mean, the audience laugh all the time and we're struggling not to laugh. Yeah. And has that ever happened that you've managed to Oh, it to have never a happens on stage <laughs> that I would cough. <laughs> I can tell your line. I've your lips are moving. myself. Yes, yeah, yeah. I've actually made myself laugh and then while I'm speaking, <laughs> made other people. I have to make a quick recovery. But yeah, you do. You always make a quick recovery. So there's 15 wonderful actors on They're stage. All great. What's that camaraderie oh, like? Oh, it's just fabulous. I mean, it's fabulous. And we had we had Tina Kelleher and um, Catherine Walsh last year and Deirdre Malloy and Helen Norton have come in. That always changes a dynamic, which is really interesting, doesn't it? Yes, you it know, changes The place completely. changes, yeah. you know, and everybody's responses change. And they're, yeah. all four of them are just fabulous. And it's really interesting to watch how somebody does something different when yeah. you were so amazed at Catherine and Tina last year. And you were so year. used to it. And so used to it. And then another energy comes in. And it's just brilliant. And it's set in 1974. It's set in 73. It was written in Canada in the early 60s. Right. And it was set in the early 60s. But as we know, nothing happened in Ireland in 1963. No. It was at least 1973 it was before anybody started. It was closed. Yeah. So then people started to think about their situations and go up to the north to be outrageous and bring back, you know, aspirin or chiclets or whatever they brought. Yeah. Well, yeah. contraception yeah. in the form of... Yes. You know, what was it? Some kind of chiclets or something? Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, so she said it in 73. The set is unbelievable. I was talking to a young actress recently on another job, and I was grateful that she didn't recognise me from The Unmanageable Sisters That's when right. I told her I had done it, and she's a drama student. Yeah. And uh, she loved the play. She saw it last year. But I was astounded at her observation. She could tell me what was on the set. Down yeah. to little salt shakers. And anyway, the set is the amazing. Detail. God is in the It's detail. like being back in the 70s. I don't remember. Does that help <laughs> with But I imagine it's like being back in but the 70s. But does it help when you have the perfect set that oh, matches it's amazing. your words? Amazing. When we walked into that set, we just thought, oh my God. Down to the the awful wallpaper, the dreadful carpet, all nylon, you know? Yeah. But little butter dishes and Old biscuit tins, everything is period. Yeah. The detail, even and there's a bathroom on. that nobody sees except the door is open. If you go into the bathroom, it's your worst nightmare. Do you yeah. remember those nylon carpets with all Lovely. the stains around the Lovely. bath? Yeah. Oh my Lovely. God. And full of little knickknacks and. Yeah. Oh, you can see why she wants her million green shield stamps to do so up this So This is the story of the play. She's one, one of the girls has one. She's one. Marion O'Dwyer plays Jer. Yeah. who is really, there's only one word for her, and she's insufferable. Oh, 
Right. She is so full of herself and she's won these million stamps. So she invites all these women over, her friends and her sisters, to stick in the stamps. And so she's... these were green shield stamps yeah. for those uninitiated amongst us. These were stamps that you got. And put in a little book. And then if you had so many, you exchange it for... A teapot or a kettle or a toaster. And she's got a million. She's, a million. Of them. she's got a million. I don't know how she got the million. <laughs> there must have been some kind of a competition like yeah. the lotto. Yeah, but yeah. she gets a million stamps. And so it's all of that. So sort of we're supposed to just stage. go in there and stick in her stamps and listen to her gloat and not be a little resentful. I don't think so. Yeah. So it's about these, it's hilariously funny, yeah. but there's undertones, which are very serious. Yeah. Um, but like in the best drama, isn't it true? You're laughing your ass off and then you're hit yeah. with yeah. something quite dark. But it comes from real people, you see. Real That's, people. You know, real comedy comes from, you have to create those people and mm. say, they have to be believable. Yeah. And they are. They're all individual characters and they're all very, very funny. And yet there's, I think eight of us have a monologue. Wow. And the monologue is like the internal. It's so clear. Emotional life of this woman. Charlotte, it's so clear that you enjoy your time um, on stage so much and as a, an actor too. And really, it's no surprise that your three children have followed in your footsteps as well. Yeah, so we've got yeah. Ruth Bradley, we've got Ferdy as well. He's Ferdy and Murphy, Roisin Murphy, and Ruth Bradley. Ruth took my name when she was in Brownies. Did she? Right. Yeah, and I went to pick her up one night and they said, oh, sorry, we don't, we don't have Ruth Murphy here. And I was a paranoid parent. So I thought, where does she go at seven years old on a Wednesday night? <laughs> she's gone. And then I saw her and I said, she's right there. Said, oh, you mean Ruth Bradley? She just didn't think it had yeah. a ring. I love that. Ruth Murphy, she's hilarious. She knew what she wanted to do at she seven. She is Murphy, legally. And do they enjoy what they do as much as you do? Because it's such a vocation more than a career. I mean, you live and breathe it. I see it with you mm -hmm. all the time. You do it because you, you love it. You kind of do. You, I, I, you Do you love it? Yes, I love it when it's good work. Sometimes... Sometimes I don't love it. Oh, you hate it. Sometimes it's like, yeah. but I can do it. It is the one place, a stage or a set, because we're all full of insecurities, mm. where I walk out and say, I, this I can do. Mm. OK. I was the same. I used to sing professionally. I'm like, I can do this. The rest of life is a bit tricky. Yeah. <laughs> I realize, but I can Not only, sure I can do that. I yeah. can't even imagine, though, what it's like, Charlotte, dealing with those insecurities as an actor, which we do, but having three kids who are doing yeah. it as well. Are you worrying about them as well? Well, I didn't discourage them and I didn't encourage yeah. them. You just let it happen? Yeah. I, I sort of feel you've got, you, you spend a lot of time working, so you need to love what you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they do love it. And I, you know, they get, some years are great yeah. and other years are a bit. But yeah. they're all doing okay. Ferdy studied film in London, so yeah. he's behind the camera as well. Right. He does some acting, he does writing and directing. And, you know, the girls, Purely out of root to some writing. I think she's very quiet about that. I don't know. We all do some writing. Everybody yeah, writes. That's the way it's going. Though, I mean, everybody it? writes. Yes. Everybody if you want to find yeah. the perfect yeah. project, you need yeah. to create it yourself. Yeah, sometimes. but I think this, well, certainly, Something I think creative you. people write, mm. even if they never put it out there. Yeah. You know? I, I don't know many. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think everybody who does. Who don't scribble. do something. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, it's so such a pleasure having you okay. in. Um, and people want to watch The Amountable Sisters. You're there. It's a, it's a good, decent run during Actually, the summer. Actually, it's in rep, which so, never happened yeah, before. So. so you need to go on the website. OK. Because two pints are opening on Wednesday night. So there's night. two different plays on and they're yes. running Yes, so I think you normally time. it's Monday is The Unmanageables, Tuesday is two pints, Wednesday. Yeah. That's the way it looks. <clears throat> uh, I have to check the schedule all the time. But you have to be reminded. Oh, Jesus, yes, yeah. yeah. doing a oh, yeah. And <laughs> also, I think... They have a, some kind of a deal on that you can that you can get to see both plays oh, for a reduced rate. To be had. Good value Charlotte, lovely to see you. Again. Great to see you. Too. And the best of luck yeah. during the summer. And Good the best of luck to you, darling. Well, thank you. In this the snapper here. here. You can go <laughs> and see <laughs> Charlotte in the Unmanageable Sisters at the Abbey Theatre until the third of August. Check out abbeytheatre.ie for more details. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you.